us to normies and we're back to watch more Breaking Bad. You guys excited? Yes. yes. I know we don't have anything like a little gimmick for Breaking Bad. Maybe we can create some. Smoke it. Yeah. No, we're not going to smoke it. It's not about like a, a meth pipe. pipe. Like yeah, we're not going to smoke a meth pipe or any of that <clears throat> craziness. But uh, you guys gross. excited? Hell yeah. yeah. So if you, do you guys remember where we left off last? Um, uh, It was... After he told him that they had cancer. Yeah, it was when, okay. It was basically they had to sit down. Yeah, oh, and they were right. passing passing the passing pillow. the, uh, the pillow. pillow. And he told his wife after he smelled his cream and cuddled her pillow that he'd go and he'd do it. But this is contingent on him cooking again. Yes. So yes. he's gonna he's gonna get back in the game with Jesse. Yes. I yes. think he will. Yeah. So you can get a little bit of a summary because she wasn't here last time. But she's WB. With she's with us now. I seen it. Yeah. Either Assumed way, it. I mean, some, there's some things you like forget. Like I, I completely, yeah. I, I, the whole Jesse's parents, I completely space half that shit, dude. I forgot like all of that. What a good brother he is. I know. Man. What a great fucking brother. Jesse's and, the best. Yes, and uh, I, guys, by the way, last video, I think, no, I think it was episode four. I know we kept saying it was Emilio that was a snitch. It wasn't Emilio that was a snitch. It was Crazy Eight that was a snitch with yeah. the, for the police. Yeah, the Emilio wrong. Huh? <laughs> it was his cousin. Yeah, Emilio was his cousin. Yeah. We kept saying it was Emilio. Just remind the me. The one Jesse killed. I think that's what fucked me up is because I think when they originally talked about it, like I thought Crazy Eight was the guy they caught. Yeah. And then they started saying Emilio, so I thought, yeah, we got those two guys mixed up. Yeah. But yeah, we know all that. So uh, <laughs> I say we get the show on the road. Hell yes. yeah, hit play. Let's do this. And I think we're almost done. I think we have like... There's two. There's seven episodes. Yeah, there's seven episodes this season. And we're on six. We're on six right now. Oh, my bad. Let me hear crackling. Do this. <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, man. You guys are you guys are in for a roller coaster here soon. Oh, I'm I bad, dude. This is like the number one like show, apparently. Yeah, by the way, so I think YouTube, I think, got their first oh, like really? look at this today. And people are raving about it. They're also worried about copyright issues. We'll do our best. We'll do our best. Fingers crossed. Hey, if not, there's Vimeo. This, the chemistry, is my realm. I am in charge. And I am the wizard of this realm. How's <laughs> operation is you and me. And I'm the silent partner. You've got any issues with that? Whatever, man. He just wants the moolah. No more bloodshed. No violence. <laughs> oh! He's a red fucking ball? Flash forward is this? Well, I called out some violence right there. Okay, so he's already started chemo. They didn't waste any time. Not with that wife on his back. <laughs> Can you put in touch with Elliot because I haven't seen a check from him? Yes, I, I got it. Really? It came. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah, it, it came oh, shit. So we're good. We're good. You know, for being so like curious in his business, I'm surprised she's not like, well, let me see it could myself. You know? Not deposit this until one day. Damn, bro, that's a lot. 1900, bro. I know. Hot hospital bed. One treatment. Bro. That's it's ridiculous. Wow. For some people, it's nothing. It's crazy to me. To about like a little percentage of that people. Think of like the bigger percentage yeah. of people out there. It sucks. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm just... saying. Like, it's crazy. But if a reaction happens quickly. Well, he's not Otherwise, feeling good, is harmless he? substances can interact in a way that generates enormous bursts of energy. And the faster reactants, i.e. explosives, the faster they undergo change, the more violent the explosion. <laughs> wow. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you want to talk about a rapid effect. That shit was no time. I got it, Mr. White. Don't worry. I've got kids to teach. Aww. Everybody watching this, I challenge you to learn the name of the custodians at whatever buildings you frequent. They are the pillars of our society. Truth. If you don't let me in, then you don't tell me. Man, she's loving this. Going. I mean, it's like I feel like you don't even want me around sometimes. Ah, Skylar. Like he's going through cancer, woman. How it sh it's got to be her superpower. How the fuck do you make everything about you? <laughs> hey guys, let's not get on the Skylar hate train. Let's, let's not do all that. I don't hate her. I'm just like you're just like kind of. Like, let's give her a chance. No. Is there anything else holding back from your family? Let me tell you. 
like to be alone and at times. It's just that sometimes it feels better not to talk at all. I feel you. Yep. I, I feel you, ma'am. Maybe knowing what you do when you're alone. Come on! It's easier for your family to be more accepting of whatever it is. They like to go on walks, right? And then enjoy the nature. <laughs> No, they went back there. This is therapeutic. Ah, uh, I can't believe they went back there. But they don't know. Uh oh. Yeah, bro, he's feeling the effects. This is gonna be a bad batch. Oh no, dude. Chemo, the chemo. Oh man. It's nice, it's nice of Jesse though. <laughs> I, I love seeing these too. So I see your best friends again. Uh, what is that? What's on his chest? Oh, what are we gonna tell me? Tell you what. Cancer. You got it, right? How did you know? Yeah, wait, what? My aunt had one of those dots on her to target the radiation. What is it in your lung? Damn. What stage are you? 3A. How does he know all this? His aunt's had the same cancer? Your aunt. How, how bad do we shoot when they caught it? Bad enough, they don't last long. I get it now. That's why you're doing all this. You want to make some cash for your people before you check out. Oh man, it's like more honorable than Jesse now. Are you telling me to be able to finish the batch? Yes. Take your time, man. No. You're gonna have to teach Jesse. You do it. What? If you have any questions, I'll be right out here. I wonder if he'll ever make it as good as Walt. I think he will. I think he's finally gonna apply himself. Oh my, they went back! I'm telling you, it's not a good idea, man. Property of J.P. Lynn Chemistry Lab. The high school? I mean, it's obvious. High school wall chemistry teacher. Yeah. I I don't. I think it's gonna take him a little bit longer than that to put two and two together. If he thinks one of the students, I'm gonna like really know it. But how many people smoke meth? A lot. I don't even know. It's like this. And he's still smoking? <laughs> After all his paranoia and shit? <laughs> After everything you've been through, bro? <laughs> You're a friendly drug dealer. <laughs> Look at the music they have going along with this shit. I know. Just the cinematography of the scene is just so good. Seven left over, 19 just came out. 13. Minus 25 bucks for that phone. How much meth did you sell? Nearly an ounce. Is there more money? Did he smoke Last too much? Last time I was 16 ounces to a pound. What'd you do with the rest? Smoke it? Yo, I've been out there all night slinging crystal. Damn. You think it's cake moving a pound of meth one teeth at a time? So why are you selling it in such small quantities? Why don't you just sell the whole pound at once? To who? What do I look like, Scarface? Yeah. <laughs> You may know a lot about chemistry, man, but you don't know jack about sling and go. Huh? Well, I tell you, I know a lack of motivation when I see it. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think it's that you sell <laughs> drugs, is it? His face. We have to move our product in bulk, wholesale. Now, how do we do that? That means like a distributor? Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's what we need. We need a distributor now. Do you know anyone? What like the fuck? Yeah, yeah, I used to. Until you kill them. So, gotta find them. Crazy eights place. I feel like every Tuco, you know ethnicity has one. Badass from what I hear, Tuco. Okay, so then just go talk to Tuco. Like, hello, sir. Hey, I know you don't know me, but would you be interested in a felony quantity of meth and Jesus, look, he's upper level, man. He's not gonna do business with some dude he doesn't know. But if the product's not good, he will. We're making money. Why can't you just be satisfied with the way it is?
paranoid now. Yeah. Hugo. Every Hugo is awesome. Every Hugo is awesome. I think that was the same Hugo. Oh, she's talking about lost. Yeah. Oh. You got it. Are you turning into sewer? Well, I don't know. It's like the third lo- lost reference. It's like lost. Oh. Let me know if you need anything, huh? I will. Thank you, Carl. Cotterman. Chef, oh off. my god, You're this so ass. so gross. Yeah. So what the... As this show what goes on, I'm trying to realize Hank well, wasn't the greatest. What do you mean work-related, though? Keep her cool together, man. Keep her cool together when you see it. Well, that was used to cook meth. Found out on some Indian land about 40 miles from Told you don't go back there. Well, the label on the inside used to say J.P. Wynn Chemistry Lab. I don't understand how that came from here. Well, I was hoping you could help me with that. Uh, we found it near an abandoned car belonging to one of our snitches. We went missing a while back. Uh, nobody yet, but uh, we're pretty sure you know. <laughs> oh my god, this is so bad. He's <laughs> <laughs> such an asshole. Anyway, you, uh, are there any other risk Because I'm kind of sick. Uh, inventory says eight. Two. One for him, one for Jesse. Uh, class we were looking a little sparse. Missing a couple of uh, Erlenmeyer flasks at least. 5,000 milliliter round bottom. That's a love to ruin the food. Oh, is that Jesse calling you? Probably. Can you answer that? The last thing I'm going to do is get you hot water. Uh, but some meth monkey had a beating fence in here. We don't want people to start wondering about you. Oh, my God. How, this guy didn't immediately think it was him. <laughs> Sure you're tight with this guy. Two nuts in a ball sack, yo. Uh, yo. Skinny Pete. <laughs> I get the feeling Skinny Pete's not gonna last long. No. That's his boy, Skinny Pete. <laughs> He's a red shirt for sure. <laughs> He's a what? Red shirt. Red shirt. Oh. <laughs> yo, man, I'm Skinny Pete. <laughs> what if that guy has some connection to Crazy Eight, though? Mm, I'm just assuming that, like, Albuquerque is not a big city, isn't it? I'm just assuming that if you're, like, in the drug game, everybody knows yeah. each other. Tuco, what's happening, my brother? Tuco does not look happy to see you. No, he doesn't know you, dude. Wake up the ice. Jesse's not nervous at all. Oh my god, look how he's just opening it. How much? 35 large for the pound. <gasps> Damn! Whoa, you look light as hell. It's alright, don't sweat it, it's all good. Scotty, go on, get out of here. What about the money? Who gives it? This is a consignment operation. You want me to float 35 G's? I would not float 35 G's, bro. I don't care who the fuck he is. I don't know. No, no, hey, I don't do business that way. Tough shit, the deal is done. Fontaine took off good for it. Oh, this this idiot! Come on, really? How big of an idiot Jesse is! I know that's just stupid on his part right there. They're not gonna kill him because he made it. We might fuck him up a little bit though. You really want your money up front? See, he's money up front, bro. Thirty-five G's. The skinny Pete about. Oh my God! You just made Walt so proud, bro. I'm just. Oh my god. I really want his shirt. Tico shirt? Yeah, man, I'm loving it. I'm digging <laughs> it. I'm really digging that pink. Yeah, like, what was so problematic about this? I'm so nervous. I don't, they right don't know now. each other like that. He probably thought he could, like, you know, get. Oh, Ooh. never mind. Ooh, that shit hurts. That looks way more than 35 G's. Ah! Poor Jesse. <laughs> this guy's been going through, like. Just like like meltdown, seeing shit beat up, like I don't know, just like killing people. Morning, Hugo. Don't mind if I call you Hugo. <gasps> no. No, I know. Who who did they set him up? Did I miss something? Because he was one of people with a the key. They ground check. He has a past. Fuck that's you. Just, that's just racist. Past is past. Are you arrested? Mr. Archuleta the other day. Comes out, he has a record, couple possession beats. We figured he was the guy that was stealing your... Uh, your Just like that. Beat. I mean, you know, you have a key, fit the profile. When we searched his truck, we found a big old fat blunt. Oh my god. Proof. Old 
little huge Hugo ain't so cool after all. Uh, cooler than you, apparently. Yeah, Hank was kind of a dick, man, for real, for real. We got a search warrant and we tore old Hugo's house apart. Turns out he's a major league pothead. He did major chemistry. So they just basically found out he's a pothead and said still arrested. He probably lost his job and everything for that shit. So stupid. So horrible, bro. Andy, I hope it shows a little bit of a flaw in the system. What's gonna happen? Oh, he, uh, well, I mean, he's gonna lose his job like he should. Probably spent a couple months in county. It's not his first rap. Hank, I thought you were cool and just like an ass here and there, but now I hate you. Him. By the way, that's the name of this episode. Apologies. <laughs> a handful of nothing? Yes. I was dialing Jesse Pinkman. Well, where is he then? Oh, he's like knocked out. Are you fucking kidding me? That money, bro. Got some busted ribs and like that. I was all like, damn, Tuco chill that shit. I can't tell you anything about this Tuco. Don't. Oh, oh, the fast forward about? scene. Bro, bro. Girl! Oh! I think Walter White's about. Is he Whoa. pissing blood? Whoa. Ah. Uh, that's rough, man. I mean, like, I I've taken how. cranberry supplements that have made it that color before, so maybe it's just medicine. Not blood. I don't think he's taking cranberry supplements. That's just a thought. <laughs> oh, he's going bald, bald. That's the key be alive, man. The fact that we to stay in life that long is pretty freaking miraculous, in my opinion. Oh, he's doing it himself. And he's boxed in. Yeah. Come down, Scott. Come on. He does look like a badass, though. Yeah. Just yes. react a little better, girl. Badass, yeah. yeah. Hey. You guys notice he's wearing gray and Skyler and uh, Walter Jr. Walt Jr. are wearing blue. Oh boy, what you about to do? I know what you about to do. Come <laughs> <laughs> on, look what he's got the meth on. <laughs> You're supposed to be a silent partner cook. What? Look at you. They fucked this boy Jesse up. Now he's got to go fuck their world up. He cares about Jesse, doesn't he? Ooh. He's worn green almost this entire time now that they're showing him the colors that Jesse's been wearing. Oh, yeah. I want to talk to Tuco, and I'm not leaving until I do. Oh, that's his ass beat, dude. It's you. Heisenberg. Heisenberg. First of all? Why don't you start talking and tell me what you want? $50,000. Bro! <laughs> Jesse's at 35. 50 G's? How do you figure that? 35 for the pound of meth you stole, and another 15 for my partner's pain and suffering. Take the piss out of your new boy. And then you walk in here and you bring me more, man? <laughs> it's. It's not meth. Mercury fluoride, whatever shit he was talking about. Fuck! I'll give you your money. Don't do it. He's gonna beat you up with that money bag. Let's say you bring me another pound next week. Money up front. That's how it's done, son. One pound is not gonna cut it. You have to take two. Bro, this guy is literally, literally making the deal of a lifetime right here. What is this shit? All donated mercury. Knew it! Oh! I think that guy respects him too now. Heisenberg, he respects Heisenberg. Holy fuck! You're out of this ass! You didn't check the money before, you always check, it's like checking takeout and fast food. Holy fuck. Go away, drive. Now at least lock the doors. <laughs> He's so good. Give it his little car and is driving away from all these scenes, these wrecks. I am 
stunned that that AC unit is still there. <laughs> <laughs> what is that cord made out of? I know, right? <laughs> What'd you guys think? <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah. I really love the way the show utilizes every element it introduces. It really doesn't waste any time with the character progression. I know. Like, like I said, look where we are now. Like, how do we end up here? Like, it's yep. crazy. It just went click, click. It don't mess around. So, uh, what did you guys think about? I don't, like, I guess the whole scene where Jesse and Walt they were cooking, and he was like, "Yo, Jesse, go do this." I think it shows that Walt might not I don't know if trust is necessarily like the right word but I think he is starting to feel a little bit more comfortable putting more responsibility on Jesse and I don't know if that's because he trusts him or because he's in a position now where he has to um because Walt is really not in any kind of physical condition to kind of be around these chemicals all the time and to be in this stuffy room and spend hours and hours and hours cooking this meth or to go out and sling it to these people. Yeah. So Jesse has to be responsible for a lot of the operation. And I think Walt, at this stage in the game, really has no choice but to trust him. He has to trust him, depend on him, because he can't be doing it himself. Again, he's going through chemotherapy, has his family, and he wants to be a signed partner. So I think also knowing that Jesse's putting his you know, life kind of out there for him as well makes him respect him in a way mm -hmm. kind of thing. Yeah. And I think that was a really sweet scene when he's like, dude, when are you going to tell me? Yeah. Like, I know. Because I think in Jesse's mind, maybe not in Walt, but I think in Jesse's mind, this is more than just like a business thing. They're partners. Like I they, mean, Jesse's, like, even with his customer, he's friends. Like, yeah. he'll just smoke it with them, you know? Like, mm -hmm. normal. And he, like, hangs out with them and talks about them and care, talks with them and cares about their lives. Yeah. He's not just, like, going to, like, sell meth. He, like, has a conversation with them, you know? Mm -hmm. And hangs out. So he. And I think, like, it's the only way he makes friends at this point. Yeah. And my, so, probably, like, him having Walt around is, like, having a father around, you know? Yeah, because we don't know, like, how old he was when he got kicked out or got hooked on this shit. Or, and yeah. his dad really didn't necessarily, quote-unquote, step out, but stopped yeah. pursuing salvation for his son. Yeah. I think also seeing Jesse in the hospital really made him also realize how much he cares about him. I mean, he went back to, mm -hmm. to go... To go? Yeah, to go. And was like fifteen thousand dollars for my like partner's like recovery. Pain and suffering. Yeah, pain yeah. and suffering. Well, because I mean, that's a lot of money yeah. though, right? That is that's a, lot a little of bit money. more than hospital bills and stuff. So he like, yeah. Oh, shit, I hope so anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never mind. No, never mind. I don't know anymore. Nineteen thousand yeah. dollars for fucking chemotherapy. And like, obviously, you guys like that that scene with uh, with Walt and Jesse at the hospital. You know, Brian Cranston is really good with facial emotion, and you oh, just yeah. see that and he was like, oh. I think there had to have been, like, a lot of guilt in that moment because it was oh, him yeah. screaming, go grow some fucking balls. And he did, and look what happened. He told you it was risky. He told you it was risky. And mm -hmm. he did that for you, and he got fucked up because of it. So I think especially after that, Walt's going to have to really start trusting Jesse's judgment. Yeah. Because he did make the right call, and but Jesse was the one that paid the price. Yeah, he did. Exactly, and I'm glad you put that up there because, like, I mean, there was obviously guilt because he is the one that put that order out there and was like, yo, we need to go beyond this. It's like, it's not sustainable. And he is right. You know what I mean? Like, they were not going to make that much off just J Jesse going about doing him, doing it himself, you know? And, uh, I, I mean, like I said, it just shows how far apart from, like, the world that Jesse's in, that Walt's in, that he didn't understand that until, like, now. Yeah. So... Um, what did you guys, uh... The Hank things, guys. Yeah, yeah, what did you guys... Mm -hmm. I just want to say, what I know... What about Hank so far, like... I know I said in the previous, you know, reactions, I like Hank, but I, I liked him because he was being, like, a, you know, a frat boy in a way. It was just, like, funny to watch him. It was whatever. I liked mm -hmm. it. But now you're just being a dick, dude. Like, you're annoying. Yeah, like, dude, you... Meth and weed are not on the same... Like, you cannot compare the two. By law, they are. I know by law. I, I get that. But he even... But, but like... But like... But no, but but law. But, but, but like he but, went after Hank because he had the um, keys and fit the profile. Um, he never had found a weed um, if he wasn't like thinking that way yeah, as um, he was thinking. But I'm also even going to say even though Hank fits the profile of like the law, there are even some law members Hugo. that like will not... Hugo. I mean, I mean, I'm saying Hank. Like there are some law, law... I would say law enforcement officers 
that do not have the same ideals as Hank does. Hank, I feel like he's like the definition of it. He's like the poster child of the DEA, and he's like a very big extreme in that case compared to like I feel like some other people out there that are in law enforcement right now. Yeah, but he's he's that bad part where he's automatically profiled him and everything. Oh yeah, yeah he, I don't think he really. I, I think that he maybe partially profiled him based off his previous record. But oh, yeah, also yeah, yeah. because of his race. Oh yeah, I know he had, yeah, yeah, definitely because of his race. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 a given. I mean, because he could, the... it could have been the vice president, Carmen. It could and then the other. Yeah, bro, it could have been Carmen any day. Yeah. But no, she's got the ass like an onion and make him cry. <laughs> so Hugo, it goes. So yeah, it was Hugo. Poor Hugo. Yeah, I'm, I'm rooting for you, buddy. Because he was a good ass person too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you guys? What do you guys think about all the tension between? I mean, obviously Walt has some tension towards uh, Hank right now. Hank, you know. What do you think Hank thinks about Walt? Because, like, I obviously, think... you see them questioning each other about, you know, the mask and whatnot. Well, I think, in a way, Hank, like, I think over time, Hank has kind of developed um, habitual incapacities with... So, it's like, yes, he was really keen on, like, finding that spot in the car, and he kind of knew who to stereotype to figure out where to go. But I, I think Hank... Uh, Walt is still very far off his radar, especially with how sick mm-hmm. he is in front of Hank. Mm-hmm. I don't think Hank could even fathom Walt one having the morale, like the or the quote unquote lack of morality yeah. to go yeah. out and commit this kind of behavior in the first place. Let alone the fucking energy. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, and I think Walt, in a lot of ways, is just. Paranoid, rightfully so. Better paranoid, to be... yes, in his face now. Yeah, like it's better to be paranoid and alive than ignorant and dead. But uh, I think brain fart. I think Hank uh, is still clueless at this point. I just get the feeling like from Hank's overall demeanor, he just kind of gets off on fucking with people. Yeah, and I mm-hmm. think that's all it is with Hank is he's just like I just like seeing you square, man. Yeah, I don't know. It's like yeah. it's kind of surprising that he's so like oblivious to it, though. Like he can't just see right for his eyes that it is, you know, Walter. I think that he's too good to his own disadvantage yeah. in his job, mm-hmm. so he he would like he would never think that he's blinded he, by other possibilities. He's, yeah. he's blind about like what's right in front of him. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? But I hope Walt is kind of like more on his toes and like a little like not scared but like worrisome because they are kind of catching on yeah. now like they're, they have like a lead yeah, yeah I mean like him showing up at school and like questioning the lab equipment yeah. that's yeah. Like, yeah. Like, that yeah. was I would mean shit I mean I thought yeah, yeah. Well, and, I think the, and, just... pre- and vice president principal and all of them are gonna find out too so they're yeah. Yeah, reason yeah. to watchful now. Yeah, and I think he just got like a major reality check coming yeah. from like both corners and also the fact that Hugo's in prison now does not mean that they will stop searching oh, for the yeah. person Ugh. that stole the equipment because they didn't find it in Hugh's apartment. Yeah. They Beach found a bunch what? of pot, but they didn't find the the stuff for meth. Yeah. So, uh, so well, so so, what do you guys think about like in general, like Walt's interaction with his family right now? Like we've seen the scene where they had like fucking you know the group support the, group, support group, and then. When you see him after, you know, he cuts his hair off, like... Man, that shower scene. Are you guys, like, noticing, a, I would say, a change? Um, kind of. I, I think... And I, I think it's more or less in, like, Walt himself. Um, I think in a lot of ways he is becoming a person he never thought he'd ever be. And with that, you develop new communication patterns. Um, and also, it's kind of like you can't let your family know what's going on because whether they quote unquote do the right thing and and turn you in or if they keep that secret and you get found out and they go down with you so I think he's trying to find a new way to communicate with his family because right now there's so many aspects of his life that he just can't be honest about and to be sick and dying on top of isolated that, that's got to be really hard. So, yeah, I understand why he's kind of, like, shutting into himself. Um, and Skyler seems to be as persistent as yeah. ever. <laughs> like, give the man some space. Again, like, I know you love him, but he's dealing with something, too. Yeah, and I, I haven't really noticed anything um, about Walt Jr. He had, like, what, one 
one or two lines this episode. <laughs> he seems like more comfortable Bad-ass with it dad. now. Like, yeah. Dad. He's going back to treating his dad the same way he was. Yeah. I, I would agree. I just like, like I said, I know like after watching this while I've been told to notice the colors and I was like notice, you know, obviously we said earlier that he went from that like, green to that like, gray now after mm-hmm. he cut his hair off. Um, last but not least, what do you guys think about Tuco and that whole situation? Tuco's fucking nuts. Yeah. yeah. Like that, I'm, I think Tuco, because I was a little confused by, he said sometimes you got to steal to keep your riches. Is that what he said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. He's like, just so you and I have an understanding. And I'm like, so that kind of leads me to think that there's going to come a point when Tuco is going to turn this around. Tuco's going to uh, get his comeuppance, if you would, um, on Eisenberg and Jesse, because that, that sounded like a veiled threat. I don't know. I feel, well, yeah, and I also feel like maybe like he'll be a good person to have on their side. Maybe get them more deals and money, or if they could, like a gang war or something ever happen, like he can use Tuco on his side. Like, because it looks like he's like eventually, if you earn his trust, might be a good thing. I don't know. I don't know. I, I fucking love Tuco. Like, I, yeah. I remember watching the first time I saw him, and I was like, "Who is this dude?" And I realized his crazy when he like took that cigarette, put it in his tongue. I was like. All right, this motherfucker is off the hinges. He's like, I need he, his shirt. Like, that shit, that yeah. hurts. Yeah, that shit must have hurt, man. He just doesn't give a fuck. I need his shirts. He got style. <laughs> <laughs> he got style. I don't know if he's noticed. He's, that's that's too cool. He is bedazzled. Mm-hmm. Bedazzled that is for sure. So, you guys have anything else to say? No, Let's start all. the next episode. Binge on. It's binge all on. Right, binge on. Continue on with this binge, guys. Remember. For uncut and early reactions, please check out our Patreon. I know we're a couple ahead up there, and we have our uncuts up there. We're basically, it's just, you know, us just reacting to the whole thing. Um, you got to bring your own source material, obviously. And remember, support the original contact uh, yeah, content. Please check it out on Netflix. It's on there, and obviously you can buy the DVD. Get the right. Blu-ray. Yeah, get that shit. Blu-ray. All right, fam, man. We'll check you out <laughs> later. Peace. Bye. Bye. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Breaking Bad. Catch those uncut and early access episodes by subscribing to the Normies on Patreon. Shout out to super patrons Luis, Tamor, Quasi, Trip, Toy Soldier, Ben, Joe, Keyboard Junkie, Robert, NYR fan Joey, and Philip. Let's cook next week.